Harbor. I'd like to welcome everybody to our towns and sawmill. My name is Ed Regan. I'm the general manager for RY Timber. And over there on my right in that uh, 10 gallon Stetson is Scott Stern. He's our general manager for Montana. If anybody in the press wants to question him later about the sawmill operations, he's available. Thank you to everybody who took time out of their busy schedule to join us today. Understandably, not every person here today shares the same viewpoint regarding land management decisions. I'll thank you ahead of time for giving Senator Tester the courtesy and respect he deserves by not interrupting the press conference. The Senator looks forward to hearing from all Montanans during the next few weeks and months as this public process starts to unfold. After all the statements have been given by the panel here, the, uh, the, the panel will go over there uh, in front of those RY lumber bundles and there will be a pre press conference for credentialed press to ask questions. Senator Tester, RY Timber is delighted to host your announcement and unveiling of the Forest Jobs and Recreation Act of 2009. It's been almost 20 years since Montanans have attempted to reconcile wilderness with multiple uses. We applaud your leadership and commitment, bringing people of all persuasions together in a collaborative process to settle these differences. This bill has something good in it for everybody. Besides designating new wilderness and recreation areas, your bill ensures that logs from our national forest are utilized and harvested in a timely manner. Nothing is more important to our company than timber supply. Without logs, the future of Montana's timber industry is not a pretty picture. Without sawmills, Montana will have no economical way to deal with all the dead and dying timber being created by the mountain pine beetle. RY Timber looks forward to working with you and all other Montanans who have a stake in this legislation. Hopefully, by the time of final passage, this proposed piece of legislation will have been vetted and shaped into a final form that all of Montana can be proud of. Senator Tester, thanks for your hard work thus far, and welcome to Townsend. Thank you. And, and thank you, Ed. I, I really appreciate you hosting us today. Uh, last time I was, I was supposed to be here in Townsend, we got here a little late, and Ed got, had the crew entertained for a half hour, 45 minutes. But I really appreciate you opening up your, uh, your shop here today for us. Uh, we thank you very, very much. And I want to thank all you folks for joining us here today. Uh, this is a, a very, very important event uh, this afternoon. Before I get started, I, I know there's a lot of folks here that have worked on uh, collaborative efforts uh, in the Yak, the Blackfoot, the Beaverhead Deer Lodge. Would you raise your hand if you've been a part of that collaborative effort that's happened over the last three, four, five years? Give yourself a hand. I want to thank you for that work. Uh, I want to I want to state as as clearly and as plainly as I can: Montana forest communities are in crisis. Our forest crisis demands action, and it demands action right now. In fact, one of the reasons that we're at RY Timber here today is Ed has only been able to run this operation at about 60% uh, capacity. That's three days a week. Similar mills across the state face the same or even worse problems. At the same time, unprecedented outbeat, outbreaks of beetles are turning the entire hillsides red with dead and dying trees, trees that can either burn up or be put to use. That's why I'm so very, very proud today to stand here with this broad coalition of Montanans to introduce the Forest Jobs and Recreation Act of 2009. This legislation is a product of Montanans working together on a good plan to create jobs with new opportunities in stewardship logging. The Forest Jobs Bill will protect access for recreation. The Forest Jobs Bill will protect our clean water and the forest jobs bill will keep some of Montana's very best hunting and fishing habitat for our kids and grandkids. Montanans from different walks of life work together to bring these ideas to me. I took their input and then we went out and got more input. And I used all that information to put this jobs bill together. 
This forest jobs bill will create forest jobs now, today, upon its passage. It will restore our forests and get people working again in the woods. It will promote common sense logging to thin beetle kill trees. It will protect communities from wildfire and it requires the U.S. Forest Service to harvest at least an average of 7,000 acres per year for 10 years on the Beaverhead Deer Lodge National Forest and at least 3,000 acres a year for 10 years in the Kootenai National Forest. This is a much needed commitment to Montana's loggers to help keep folks working in the woods. The bill will also protect Montana's access to some of America's best trout fishing, elk hunting, camping, and hiking, important traditions that are deeply ingrained in our heritage. It creates a new Big Hole National Recreation Area. It, it opens up new areas to snowmobiles and bikes. It releases thousands of acres of land that is basically manages wilderness right now to other uses, such as timber harvest and recreation. And I want to make this very, very clear. It does not take away any grazing rights. After years of hard work, collaboration, and hearing input, it goes without saying that there are a lot of details in this legislation, and it's all available to the public. Minutes ago, literally minutes ago, we just launched a new website, tester.senate.gov forward slash forest. There you can download the text of the legislation. You can download maps to see exactly what the plan is for the land management. And you can also sign up individually as citizen co-sponsors to do your part to put the shoulder to the wheel to push to get this piece of legislation done. This is the beginning of a process. Now I'm going to push this forest jobs and stewardship bill through Congress. Our forest communities desperately need this homegrown Montana solution to the crisis we face. Before I turn it over to some more of today's participants, I want to point out that these folks ref reflect a broad cross-section of Montanans involved in this process. They represent the thousands of Montanans who have joined together to support this made in Montana solution to the thorny conflicts that have stalemated us for far, far too long. Today, we are making history. We are, here's, we are here because Montanans from different walks of life sat down together to find a new way to find common ground to promote all of Montana's outdoor values. And I can't tell you how much I appreciate the work these collaborative groups have done. 